Hi everyone! Today we are going to be doing unpopular opinions. So I was like thinking of stuff I could talk about and I was like, I don't think I've ever made an unpopular opinions video. Like I just don't think I ever did. Which is like crazy because I feel like a lot of my opinions are unpopular. <laughs> so this is really fun. Let's just like take all my unpopular opinions. Not all of them, but like, you know, the ones that I feel like are the most unpopular and then just put them in a video. So number one, the Nabstrepper horse. Listen, I get comments to this day that are like, the Nabstrepper horse is ugly. I disagree. I think the Nabstrepper horse is so pretty. I really like it. Like, it's so nice looking and I had no clue that anyone hated it until people started telling me in my comments and I was like, oh, nobody likes it? I was so confused. And I've never really seen anybody dislike it either because when it came out onto the game, because when the horse was released on the game, a lot of people were, like, buying it, and I didn't see anybody be upset about it, so I was like, oh, nobody is upset, so I think it's fine. And I liked it, so I didn't really care anyway. Like, if somebody tells me the horse is ugly, I'm still gonna buy it, so I don't really care, but I just think it looks nice, and I'm, like, shocked at the amount of people who don't like it. I just think it's such a, like, cool horse. I think... It just looks very pretty, the coat colors are nice, the model is so awesome, and I know nobody likes the gates, but I think the gates are pretty much fine. It's not the best, but I think they're pretty nice. I think it's really cool. Number two, I don't think shopping sprees are harmful. Like, I will die on this hill. I don't think shopping sprees are harmful at all. I really don't. Because if I see somebody buying horses in a shopping spree, personally for me, I don't feel hurt. I really, really don't. I don't get jealous over that. It doesn't bother me. And I know I have felt FOMO before, but I don't think somebody buying horses and me feeling FOMO is their problem, you know? In my opinion, if I feel FOMO from a horse shopping spree that somebody had, I just won't watch it because if something's bad for me, I just won't do it, you know? But to this day, like, I get told how I'm a bad influence for buying horses in the game, which I don't agree with that at all because, like, there's way worse things I could be doing. And buying horses in a horse game is not on that list of bad things, and I don't think it ever will be because nothing is wrong with buying horses in a horse game if you like doing it because, um, newsflash, a lot of people play the game for horses, not for quests, and I've given up on quests because I don't really like them, so why would I ask for quests if I don't like them anymore. I mean, they're not going to bring back the old storyline, so what's in it for me? And yeah, FOMO can be harmful for people, but I don't think it's harmful in general. It's only harmful, I think, if you let it affect you. And personally, for me, I know a lot of people aren't like this. I feel like if FOMO is an issue you have with shopping sprees, it just means you shouldn't be watching them. Because, like, it's not somebody else's problem that you feel FOMO. It's not their fault that you can't join in. Like, I have friends who ride horses and I can't do it. I'm not going to stop them because I can't do it with them, you know? That's not fair to them. Why should I stop somebody's fun because I can't join in? That's not, that's not right. Number three, I think that having Maya and Alex in the game is really great. I really do. And a lot of people keep saying, well, we shouldn't have Maya and Alex be romantic in the game, but yet we have Mary and Lance in the game, as well as a bunch of other straight couples, so there's not a difference. And if you think there is, that just means you're homophobic, because, like, for real, equality, diversity, for real. And if you're trying to stop diversity, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> like, what? Why would that bother you? Like, why would somebody being in love bother you? That's so weird. Anyway, I'm gay, by the way, so I really care about that kind of stuff, but anyway... I don't think that disliking certain horse breeds makes you a hater. I really don't, because if I, <laughs> for, so, for so long, I've been told that I'm a hater because I dislike the Frisian model for the, um, the Frisian horse, obviously. And I don't think it makes me a hater because I still bought it. I still bought the horse. I just wish it was improved. That's all. I don't think I'm hating on it. Like, I really don't because, like, it's not that big of a deal. Number five, I don't think that everyone needs to go on Starcoin Strike. Like, I think it's okay to not be on Starcoin Strike if you don't want to. Because a lot of people want to go on strike because they want better from the game, 
But I think a lot of people are happy with the game, so why should they stop playing it because we're upset? I just don't think it's fair because I've talked to a lot of different players, and a lot of people have told me that they love the game the way it is, and but they're newer players so they wouldn't be aware of the old games, but even so, a lot of people don't even play for quests, they play for horses, so why should I make them go on strike because I'm unhappy? It isn't like, I don't think that's really fair. I just, uh, it reminds me of like, you got the Barbie doll that I wanted, therefore you can't have it anymore because I can't have it or something. Like it's little like, it just sounds like little kids fighting, I don't really like it. And a lot of people don't play for quests anymore, I don't anyway, like I stopped playing the game for quests once I realized that they're not going to bring back the Star Trek Legacy lore. So I don't care about it anymore because if I'm not going to get the story I wanted then why would I protest for it if they're not going to bring it back? Like, guys, they're not going to bring back the Star Trek Legacy lore. They are not going to. I do not believe they ever will because why would they go back seven years just because, of, just because people are upset? Like, yeah, it would be nice if they would go back, but we, we can't stop them. I mean, they have a new owner, they have a new CEO, and at this point, like, they're not gonna go back in time for us. And a lot of people don't play for quests anyway, like, a lot of people join the game for horses. I joined the game because I couldn't go for riding lessons. And if you type in horse game, Star Stable pops up. I never looked up quest game, I never did that. A lot of people found it for horses, because why would you play a horse game if you don't like horses? It doesn't make any sense. I lost count of where I am on this list, but next up, I think that I think that the old graphics were better like a lot of people think that the new graphics are better and like okay cool but I think the old graphics were more realistic in a way and a lot of people say well you want it to be like the old games but it wasn't realistic no the horses weren't the characters weren't but they weren't cartoony they were comic book like that was the whole point because Star Stable had comic books so I just like the comic book vibe and I like the realism there was because the horses would get tired or cold. I miss that. And I feel like the new game, I don't like the new style of it. It just reminds me of Fortnite. But anyway, I think the quarter horse is a really nice model. I just think it's a little bit too stiff. Like I feel like its head is always down really low. And I know quarter horses do that, but like a lot of quarter horses in real life don't. Like a lot of quarter horses don't have their head that low 24 seven. And I don't really expect much from the game these days because even when we did get lots of quests every week, like it's still a fetch and retrieve based game. And although they have been trying to improve stuff in the game, I feel like I'm not really their audience anymore because they decided to change the game. So I don't really expect much from it anymore anyway, especially because I don't play for quests, so I'm really only here for horses. And lastly, Lisa Peterson, she... I like the old one better, but the new one, I don't like her outfit. I really don't. I don't know what to... <laughs> people are gonna hate me for this. I think her outfit looks weird. Like, I don't know why they gave her that outfit. It doesn't look right. It really doesn't. I don't know if it's the shoes or the jacket, but something just looks very off. And I've seen, like, artists who are part of the community remake Lisa the way that she is, like, for the gen, for the new version of her. And when they change her outfit, she just looks better. I think they just have to change her clothing because something looks very odd. And I think it's so strange because people all the time tell me that my fashion's bad. Meanwhile, Lisa's dressed like that. I just think it's the... Uh, I think it's weird. But to be fair though, I don't like the western aesthetic. I really don't. I don't vibe with it. Like, I have always wanted to be an English writer. I was an English writer. I am into English writing. That's... I love the way that, like, dressage writers dress and all that. So, that's where I'm at. <laughs> but that's just my unpopular opinions. By the way, don't get all angry at me in the comments. Like, how dare you say this? It's an unpopular opinion for a reason. Uh, you don't click on a video and get upset at me if you chose to listen to it. That's so weird. Anyway, I have to go. Bye!